Ken. And Stammen stays from the stretch, and Adam hits it high to center field, pretty deep. Niger Morgan back near the wall. He reaches up. He can't make the play, and he fires his glove towards the ground. One run is in. Adam Jones may have an inside the park home run. He's being sent. Here's the throw to the plate. He is safe at the plate. And inside the park home run for Adam Jones. And the Orioles now have a 4-2 lead. Juan Samuel read it all the way, never hesitated to send it. And Niger Morgan, upset at not catching it instead of going after the ball, may have cost his team a run. Number five, James Harden's defense. Sit back and watch this glorious montage. Oh my God, James! <laughs> Come on, James. You better, you better than that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on, man. No, nah, he's back on D. He's just gonna stop him. Oh my Come goodness, on. James! Ole. Come, no, nah, knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> knock it off. Come on. No, oh. it's, no, no. It can't be more. Otto Porter. Oh, Otto my Porter. gosh. Yeah, it's your fault. Raise your hand. <laughs> oh, man. Where is he? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Are you kidding me? Vic. Keeping the play alive. they fight someone. In the back. Touchdown of Vance. Now you see him once again. I love a quarterback being on balance. Always downfield, always in a position to throw, always bouncing, good knee flex. When you go back and watch Albert Hainsworth on that, yeah, play, I was just gonna say, yeah, you, know, you, you got to get yeah. up off the ground and stay alive yeah. and chase this guy. Yep. And it, the scoreboard doesn't matter when you play Michael Vick; he will wear you out. But you know, just take a look at it yourself. You know, and I realize it's a tough night and it's a rainy night, but you're down on the ground. You have to get up. And you got to continue to chase Michael Vick. The play's still going on. Well, this year for Cincinnati. Lots of time for Roethlisberger. The check down to Bell. Almost always a good option. Does he go out of bounds? No whistle. No signal. He catches the ball. He comes out of his what is the that? backfield. And he's in bounds. He is in bounds. And what kind of a tackle is that by Jordan Evans? Not good. Backup player. Cliff Lee, first pitch swinging. Easy grounder to Phillips. <laughs> Lee didn't even run. And he is getting booed by the fans. He made a weird gesture as well. He didn't leave. He just kind of shook it off. Check it out. He was starting to run, and he knew Phillips was getting it, and he just went, ah, heck, brother. <laughs> Rushing four, ball comes out of the hands of Newton. It's on the ground and it's still on the ground. Picked up by T.J. Ward at the four-yard line. Cam Newton decides not to dive in there. And yeah, take he backed away football. from it. He, he jumped away instead of jumping into the pile. Yep. Ajayi back in the game after the penalty is a first down at 20. Wildcat formation now. Check this out. Cutler lines up to the bottom of your screen. They get a snap it to a guy, and that doesn't go anywhere. Kenny Vaccaro in there. And there's a base hit. Extra bases coming. The breaking ball, and Riles on his way to second. And BJ taking a lot of time to get to that ball, and it's going to be a three base hit. He is, and he's jogging. He's jogging right there. He's not running full speed. When the Rays uh, came back off the field after the top half of the fifth inning, Longoria took exception to uh, B.J. Upton's lack of effort in center field. And you can't blame Longoria for that. Listen, I would rather see teammates get on teammates for talking about what you and I just talked about because it looked like B.J. was, was jogging after that ball in the gap. All wide receivers and the running back in the game. Manny throwing over the middle. Nice at the 30-yard line by Harrison. Harrison doesn't feel he's been touched on his way to the end zone. Touchdown! What a mental gap that is by the Bronco defense. The Broncos 
are going to argue about who has who on this pass. Marvin Harrison catches it. Is he touched? No, he is not. You can see the Broncos are all talking to each other. Very alert. If you don't hear the whistle, keep playing. Smart. Wide open. Comes back to him. Wide open. Horford will try. Again, right up into James. Shot clock winding down. They turn it over. Oladipo kicks it. Back out. Bogdanovich for three. Bang! Putting him in position to knock down shots. And then in transition, where are the Cavaliers? Four on one. Turns into a wide open jumper. You're LeBron James. You have to give effort getting back. Mistake was made by whomever. That's poor effort by James and Bonzanovic. High hanging spiraling punt touchback. Barnhart could not pull it up short of the end zone. I think the way the returns have been going in this game, I just assume. Wait a minute, what's going on out here? They down the ball. This is going to be a touchdown. That, that, that is one of the most unbelievable plays I've ever seen. They never downed the ball. It was sitting in the end zone, and the Rams picked it up and scored. <laughs> the PA man says apparently it's a touchdown for the Rams. I mean, as you had Bailey picked it up and ran it the entire length of the field. You had guys coming on the field, off the field. Everybody's looking around and nobody can believe it. Heads up football by Bailey. I guarantee you he was the only one on the field that knew what was going on. Bailey's 28. Look at the bounce. That's it's a Rams bounce. I mean, in. nobody. Look at this. And it, watch. Look at this. Nobody is even looking at him. Barnhart's walking off. He unsnaps his helmet. Did you see the officials going by? They were the only ones with him. Maybe a couple of Rams. All of a sudden, that's an NFL record.